right, rats? Me and Vasily are going to show you 11 tricks or tips on interchange, including some nasty angles, some parkour as usual, and some general advice on tactics. And don't worry, you'll see the Ash 12 later in the video. Let's do this! Number 1. The Ruined Highway Sniper. Starting outside the mall, I am only gonna show you a couple tricks outdoors before we move inside the mall where the real fun is. We are now on the railway extract side of the map. I will only ever consider going up here early in the match if I have a situation going on in this area. Let me take this moment to say that I don't claim to have discovered any of the spots in this video and I don't care who did it first. I also can't tell the exact strength requirement for any of the tricks as stats keep changing with every patch. Number 2 and 3 Power station high and low, that's gonna be a double. Two spots to guard the power station from. Works ideally while in a squad and you want to control the power on the map until your team gets to position. The first one requires you to get on top of the red machine and from there you can get on the canopy. Because you are silhouetting against the bright background, I recommend jumping over here. Power station low. Second spot in this area, much easier and quicker to get to. Get in the back of the truck and sit in between the cabin and the bed. If you happen to have your ghillie suit on and you wanna really be dirty and give your enemies the Vietnam vibes, go on top of the tree. But it works good enough from the truck, just like that. Number 4, the hippo spot. I named it after the hippo, interchange's final boss and the guy who showed me this spot time ago. Your enemies usually have no idea where they get getting shot from, as you will see now. Higher strength players can get on top this way. Lower strength players have to use this method. Shoot the lights to reduce the visibility in the shop and preferably stay lower in here only showing your head to have a better chance against those who are checking that shop. Even if you know someone is here it's still hard to make the push and hard to get the grenade in there. Number 5 The Papillon Spot We are still in the same area around Techlight and the medical store but now we go to the Papillon shop. My favorite is to get up here and go prone. From here you will cover the whole yard on the top floor. The greatest threat here, just like on all other spots, are the patrolling scabs. Don't get terminated by one of them. They will scan and lock on you from afar. Unlike scabs, players are usually oblivious. People coming from the other end. Yeah, good luck spotting me. Number 6 The Forgotten Scope. The Vulcan MG Night Scope by Armasite has a 3.5 times magnification, already built in backup mount for a variety of additional close range sites, has a really nice and crisp crosshair, and extremely cheap at around 25,000 rubles. Interchange is the map for that scope. 
too many light sources on the map make the full on night vision goggles not practical having to switch on and off. Using the Vulcan you can silently and quickly do that and not worry about being blinded by enemies with flashlights. In fact you should be using one too combined with the close range sight for when clearing around corners. Flashlights don't work well over distance, but for checking areas outside of your flashlight's reach, you will be prepared. Check any dark area that makes you feel uncomfortable. And even during daytime, there will be a lot of corners and spots that you won't see shit at. The Vulcan does a great job at poking the rats out. Thank you so much. Number 7 The Rubbish Sniper A very simple spot that got me a lot of kills throughout the wipes Not much to say here other than that you need to get here as early as possible I have tripped a lot of killer farmers and also a good watch on the Kiba store Always something going on in this area. Speaking of Kiba, let's move on to number 8, the Kiba angle. First, we're going to leave this backpack here for a reference. Then, we get on the top floor and on to the Figaro shop. Once at the Figaro clothing store, go to the dressing rooms. At the last sale here, jump on the cleaning bucket. And from there, on to the frame. Walk to the end of it and now you have an angle that every Rainbow Six Siege player would appreciate. Number 9 The Emercom Nightmare The second most hated extract point in the game after the bunker on the reserve. Extract camping is a subject discussed online every single day. More people have died while unlocking the Kiba door than they have at the extract and as if this area here is magical or something, it's somehow not fair when you get killed here. If you can survive any other part of the map, then you can do it here too. Here are my methods to extracting from Emercom. First of all, do not extract on the red timer. Give yourself enough time to deal with whatever is ahead. Don't rush things at the final stretch. Notice the clip that I'm already showing you. This is the route that I always take. Never go by the blue wall. Check and clear most popular camping spots. There aren't too many places where the rats are hiding. Very predictable they are. Grenades are great for flushing rats out of bushes. Long range scopes help a lot. Stay on painkillers, you don't want to start limping when crossing an open area. Don't go below 50% stamina. Zigzag in the open to make it more difficult for your enemies to hit you. Stay paranoid and play like somebody is always watching you. Next! Number 10. The Techno Rat. A dirty little spot for a rat attack susceptible to grenades though. Next, number 11, the idea office roof. You have a situation going on in the idea office, you got somebody stuck in there, maybe you got stuck in there. Keep in mind that grenades go through the ceiling, works in both rooms. There is more you can do in this office here, some parkour maybe, but I'll leave this for the interchange part 2 video. With the pace that I'm releasing videos, expect that by early 2028. Meanwhile, I wanna share something with you guys. I wanna do a Tarkov challenge, where I do a workout every time I die in the game. This is in an effort to bring our fitness back. We can do it together, live, on Twitch, starting in the next couple weeks or so. I just need to set up the Twitch channel with the schedule, and I'll get you updated. Until then, thank you for coming. And I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. Aye, ciao. See you soon.